What is up my fellow budget travelers? Emily here with Travel and Ledger and today I am walking you through the Flamingo. The first thing you're going to want to do is drop off those bags. You can actually tell your taxi driver that you want to get dropped off at valet because this is where the baggage area is located. So you check your bags down here. If they do happen to drop you off at the other entrance, which is the Uber area, taxi area, you'll see it when you first pull into the Flamingo. That's fine, you just walk right around the corner. As you can see, it's kind of like a circle down here, so it also circles around to the back there and you'll run right into baggage. It's just faster to walk from the outside. And now that you've gotten rid of that extra weight, head over to Carlos and Charlie's, get some shots, get some drinks, get some food, start your Vegas trip off right here at Flamingos, and then head over to check out the Flamingo Habitat. They have a bunch of flamingos outside. They also have like ducks and there's turtles. You never know what kind of wildlife is going to pop up over here at the habitat. They also have these huge koi fish. They're like massive. I could see them actually from my window in my room. <laughs> and once it hit at three o'clock, we were able to check in. So this is the elevators we used. It was the habitat elevators. The only negative I would say is the security for the elevators because you don't need a key card to get up to your room so anybody can go to any floor. So just be careful who you get in an elevator with. And then when you come out of the elevator, this is going to be your view. All the windows are tinted so they give you a break from that harsh sunlight. But it is a really cool view. You get to see the link, you can see some of the pool, you can see some of the habitat. So I actually really liked going to this side of the elevator just so I could look out the window while I was waiting for the elevator to come. Depending on where your room is, these hallways are long guys, be prepared to walk. Uh, we were all the way down around the corner so we had a long walk every time we went so make sure you don't forget anything in your room because it's going to be a long way back to your room. But it is worth it, check out these views, you get to see the high roller, it looks so pretty at night. I forgot to take footage of it, I apologize, but it is really pretty. All the lights go on and it's actually constantly moving. My friend actually didn't realize that the high roller was moving. She's like, oh, it hasn't turned on yet. It moves really slow. So here is an idea of what you get with the room. You always get your Vegas magazines. There's a cute little lamp here, nice little area to sit. And as you can see, the dresser has some marks on it because everybody is coming back to Vegas. It is back in action, guys. So don't expect these uh, budget casinos to have perfect rooms anymore like how it was in COVID when nobody was traveling. They're trying to turn it over really fast. So inside here's a safe. Here is your fridge with plenty of space to stick all of your goodies and your snacks. And then up here you're going to see kind of like a desk area. There's your TV, there's a little lamp. And then here's kind of a better view of the room. We kept the door open just to give you an idea of how much space it kind of adds to the feel of the room. And I love their aesthetic at Flamingos with the light teal and the pink and the gray. I kind of want to do this with my own house actually. <laughs> and then here's an idea of what the two doors look like. They both have a lock and a handle. So there's only a handle on one side of the door and then the other side is has the full length mirror on it. You also have another full length mirror there on the left. And this is my friend's room. So it kind of gives you an idea. They're basically a mirrored room that looks just like our room and expect to get a $15 a day per room to have the two rooms adjoined. So again, that's $30 a day. Here's an idea of what the closet looks like. There's a lot of space in those drawers actually. Then they have the iron. The hangers do come off of the rail there. Um, there's an ironing board. And then this is what the lock looks like for the door. You have a deadbolt and the mini stopper thing to hold the door. And then here's your privacy sign where, you know, Caesar, they treat you like an emperor. The only thing that I really didn't like about the room was there's this weird thing going on with the fan. I'll show you in a second, but it stays, it does this weird turn on thing and then it doesn't shut off, but it doesn't turn on either. I don't know. It's weird. I'll show you in a second, but they have shampoo, conditioner, body wash. The shower's really nice, except for this fan noise. So it makes this weird noise whenever you turn the light off it like goes off and on so anyways the bathroom otherwise is really nice it has the hair dryer they have plenty of towels there's some soap here there's plenty of outlets a vanity mirror a big mirror there's the lighting is really good in the bathroom honestly and as always they're always looking to help you however they can love that about caesar's 
And then they have a sliding door, so it really saves space. It gives you a bigger feel for the room, which I love. And then we are over to the air conditioner. You have complete control, of course, of how hot or cold you want it in the room. And there's plenty of plugs all over the place. You won't have an issue charging your phone. Now I'm going to take you over to the pool, but first I just wanted to show you what it's like, the sun coming up in the morning and the beautiful glow of the lights. I'm obsessed with those lights. And no joke, this is eight o'clock on a weekday and the pool is packed. I don't think the pool opens till nine. So there was a long line and we waited in line to get there and we still didn't get any seating because it was all taken. They do have a separate family area, like a kiddie pool, and then this is the adult pool where they have like a waterfall, there's some shaded seating under here, uh, there's like a party vibe going on. So they kind of try to get you to rent the cabanas and different things, so just be careful where you sit because you probably have to pay for it. And then for food options on the strip, this is like ideal location, I love the link promenade. There's all kinds of food right here, right next door, including this awesome sugar place where they have really good cocktails. So make sure you take the time to go check that out. Of course, they have In-N-Out Burger. You know, this is like one of my favorite budget stops on the Strip. It's right over here next to Flamingo. And they also have this really fun fountain show and up there you'll see zip lines. So all throughout the day, you'll hear like the fun of the zip line screamers and then at night all the lights are on. And it's really pretty to sit down here and just look at the lights of the high roller. And just a little highlight, they have Carlos Bake Shop. So if you have that sweet tooth, it is right in front of the Flamingo. And they also have a stop on the monorail right over here. So it's really easy to just jump right on the monorail and get all up and down the strip. Staying here is kind of the ideal location. You're right in the middle of everything. So you can go down the strip one day and then up the strip the next day. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that like and feel free to binge the other places I've stayed while on the strip in Las Vegas. I've got plenty of videos, plenty of places I've stayed. So check them out and I will see you in those videos.